We talk to the head coach right now who joins us here on Pac-12 Network. Coach, congratulations on, on the new gig. Just paint the picture for me, the whirlwind of the last couple weeks and what it's been like for you not only to take this job, but also build a staff and recruit some players. Well, the early signing day, I think, helps that transition a little bit. you got to do 25 guys. I think it's a whole different story. But building the staff, signing the six or seven we got left, was kind of the main focus other than that getting to know our players and and really understanding this community it, this is a fun place it's a fun place for me um, I, I've been welcomed very well I know we haven't lost a game yet but just the values that that these the community that people live by and with and it, it, it lines up with me a bunch yeah I would like to lean into that more I mean when you were the head coach in Hawaii I believe that was your third time going there right player coordinator coach assistant and then the head guy this is your first time being in Pullman. Every day as the layers get peeled back, what are you learning about this community and fandom? Uh, the passion and pride for Cougar football, Cougar athletics. You know, you know they talk about, you know, one's a Cougar, all, always a Cougar, and you see that everywhere. Um, whatever airport I'm in, um, just it, it's a real, genuine passion. And I understand that I'm, I'm a little different and I don't fit everywhere, but... Um, when, you know, talking to Mike Leach over the last few years and what this place represents and what it's all about, I felt like it, it could be a place to be a good fit for me. Yeah, we also found out Seattle was a pretty good fit when you, when you hit on, jumped on social media and asked people to meet up. I was, I was kind of <laughs> jealous. I wish you were in L.A. I would have been there in a heartbeat, Coach. We can do it in L.A. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Can. Let's go. Uh, Coop's party anywhere. <laughs> I know that. That is true. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, but, but this, I mean, you, obviously you have fun on social media, extremely personable uh, individual, but the, the vibe. And all of a sudden, night one, it seemed like it was pretty cool, and night two was bonkers when you did that. Any expectation when you hit send? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I just got out of that home visit with uh, Alphonse, and uh, we're heading back to the hotel, and I said, well, let's, let's see. They told me there's a bunch of Cougs in Seattle, so what was the best way? I just said, what are the, what are the Coug spots? And then we picked one, and, and they, uh, people showed up, and we had a good time. It was nice meeting people. I got to hear some good stories. I'm really, uh, really conscious and, and excited to learn more about the history of, of the alumni here, some of the stories that maybe don't get told as much, um, some of the impact that people have made. Uh, I'm very big on our current players understanding the, the bricks that they're walking on were laid by people who didn't have all the opportunities or resources that they have now and make sure they respect that. Coach, you mentioned some of your current players. You also said the early signing period has actually helped this transition. You know, we, we talked to Coach Leach uh, around that time in December with this class. What do you make of the, the roster right now and some of these players? I'm sure you've looked at film and try to get a sense of, of who's actually going to be playing for you this year. Uh, a pretty um... – there's not a lot of outliers as far as the hard work goes. My first day in the weight room, all right, who's going to be the guy who's testing the waters? Who's the guy who, who wants to start a fight with the coach? And, and you know, But th these guys know how to work, and that's a good sign. Um, I think there's a genuine care for each other that I'd like to continue to build and bond with these guys because I think when games get tough, that's when you see if you're a winner or a loser. Um, and, and one of the things is really kind of developing the leadership of this year's team. Who is, whose team is this going to be? It's not going to be mine. It's going to be one of these seniors, one of these older players, one of these impact players that want to take hold of these reins and, and, and lead us to a great of the season as we can, we can hope for. It's what they want, and it's the job for us, but it's, it's their experience. It's their college experience, and um, I want them to understand that this is their chance to do something real special. How, how do you tell? in terms right. of who can become the guy that's going to take the reins when you have a culture that's, that's really strong, as you referenced? Um, it's just real strong as a whole group, right? Nobody's really stepping outside of that, that circle to, to push it even further. That's, um, and so we're going to create opportunities for guys to do that. We're going to put guys in uncomfortable positions um, and see if that isn't a magnetic force that that man becomes or that that young man becomes to, to bring guys even even at a higher level um, you know different I mean I got a lot of funny ideas I think some of them are bad but um, we've, we've done some things that have worked in the past and uh, at least we know we got good kids I don't I don't I don't see a lot of you know they're not angels and I don't expect them to be angels I just try to be make good decisions every day and and you know they know the difference between right or wrong and just 
encourage them to make the right decision every day. Because like you talked about earlier, this is a small community and, and everything they do um, is watched, is impact, has an impact on, on, this, on this city and this region. Coach, last couple of years, I think about the team identity, and a lot of it has to do with quarterback play. Connor Halliday put up monster numbers. Luke Falk after him. Gardner Minshew was the talk of the college football world. Coming off the Senior Bowl, everyone's buzzing about Anthony Gordon. That next great Cougar quarterback, what are we looking at? Um, again, a lot of that leadership stuff we just talked about. A guy who um, makes everyone better. I think that's something Gardner really did, you know, just by um, who he was as a person. Who really wants to be the quarterback, uh, the coup quarterback this next year? You know, open competition, you know, I don't care who it is. I just want the best one to play. And, and the guy, and, and there, there has to be a, a, a willingness to sacrifice for the whole team. And like I said, it's got to be the guy who makes everyone around him better and, and passion and, and makes plays. Um, you know, I think body language is big during plays and, and, and can be very inspiring if the quarterback does something that maybe is a little bit out of the ordinary or, or you know, diving out of bounds or jumping on fumbles. Um, I, there's a toughness that needs to be in the quarterback position that I'm, I'm a true believer in. I love that. I cannot wait to see how that shakes out beginning in spring ball. But it, it was really fun to track you within the state of Washington. And you referenced the home visit that you got out with, and I don't want to mispronounce his name, but Alphonse Oywak, uh, secondary player, really talented guy. H how did you flip him so late in the process? Um, I looked to see who were the best players in state that, that hadn't signed yet. And he was one of the ones when I watched his film, I said, why wouldn't we want this guy on our team? Um, he's got length, he's got, he's, he cares a lot about the game of football, it's important to him. Uh, really enjoyed his family. Um, and, and to be honest, I think he, he has taken the challenge of, of, of being the, the first in-state guy in this class during this new coaching staff to really try to um, enhance the, the, the recruitment of the state of Washington. And it doesn't matter where you are, Hawaii, Washington, any of the states, you, you have to start at home because that's what the local people, and it's not a knock on guys who aren't from Washington, that's not what this is about, but everyone needs to start, I think, in, in, their, in their home region and specifically their home state. And it's, just, it's just a natural thing that people cheer for. And, and uh, I'm, a, I'm proud of him for, for taking the challenge. I think this is something he would really uh, embrace and hopefully leads to, to more of the top players in Washington want to come be Cougs. And it takes a special person to be a Coug now. It's just different, and then you can't really explain. I'm not trying to trick anybody to come over here. We want guys that want to be here. It is different, but I like that. Coach, the fan base is passionate as there is in the yep. entire country. That's abundantly clear. Before we let you get going, I have to know personally the hat. What? Is yeah. that custom? No, what? that's not custom. Okay. I got a bunch. This seems to be my number one, though. Okay, I just, uh, it, you know. Now, it, now, it's, now it's like I got to wear a hat everywhere. So. I, that's, it's becoming a brand <laughs> thing, and that's fine. That's it, a brand, yeah, it's fine. I'll do it. Because the hat looks like it's got, it's got a little, it looks oh, a little yeah. a, no, a that's touch weather, weathered, which is yeah, fine. Yeah, it's yeah. broken in. I just didn't know on if it was purpose. custom. So, yeah. Um, no. We got to figure out if there's like a hat shop in Pullman. You'll be the official sponsor of that. Uh, I would do so, that. <laughs> Oh, here we go. It, I, I didn't even realize this. I must have missed this tweet, but apparently throwing a little uh, little hate towards anyone who's making fun of your hats. Don't worry, Coach. We love it here at Pac-12 Network. I'm just, I don't, I, the hat hair is one of my biggest concerns, and as you can imagine, I think it's one of Yogi's biggest fears. So you're not well, going to see a lot of that on our heads. You guys but got great hair. You got, both you, of you. Solid. I'll take that. Take that. You know, I can't wear it on game day. I got to wear one of those Britney Spears <laughs> microphones. I don't know if that's going to be my look, but... Uh, you guys have hair. I got hair envy. Both of you guys. Um, <laughs> kudos for you to work in a Britney Spears <laughs> reference into this interview. Uh, Coach, can't wait to, to see you guys up in person, get to know you a little bit more. Congrats, by the way, on getting this gig. Uh, we're actually really excited for you in this program. Thank you. I'm excited to be part of it. It's, a, it, it's been a special place for the first three weeks, and, uh, and it's the people. The people has made it real special. Yeah, no, and you're learning all about that. We've been fortunate enough to experience a lot of that in Pullman. So uh, thrilled for you, and once again, appreciate you stopping by with us. Hey, no problem. Anytime.